has many different types of crochet creations and for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little giraffe keychain. Isn't that just super adorable? Like look at him. Isn't he just cute? And like look at all of the details on his back. Isn't that just super cute? Look at the little tail. It's so cute. So yeah, today I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little giraffe keychain. Um, he's super super cute. Okay, so let's get started with the materials. Okay, so to get started with this cute little giraffe keychain, these are the materials that we'll be needing. So as for the yarn, I'll be using all of these yarns that I have here. They are Charity Double Knit or DK Wedge yarn. They are 100% acrylic. And they are 233 meters or 256 yards. Um, but uh, they're not quite a full ball of yarn, so they're not uh, 233 meters or 256 yards. <laughs> they're like all half skeins, as I'm sure you can see. Um, but anyway, so the colors that we'll be using is we'll be using this banana yellow, um, some beige, a camel brown. And a little bit of white just to embroider around the eyes, just to give it, um, just add those highlights around the eyes. And then with that, I'll be using a 2mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle. And then I'll be using a blunt pair of scissors to push in my pillow stuffing. So you'll be needing a little bit of pillow stuffing as well as some blend pair of scissors to push in those to push in that pillow stuffing. I'll be needing a pair of jewelry pliers to attach my keychain, my keychain and jump ring. Okay, and with that I'll be also needing or using a stitch marker because we'll be working in the round. And with that I'll also be using 12 millimeter safety eyes and their backs and I have just off to the side um, my hot glue gun just to extra secure those safety eyes to the giraffe um, so they don't come out or break or whatever the case is so I just like to use my hot glue gun just for extra security okay so let's get started with crocheting this cute little giraffe keychain shall we okay so to get started we'll be working on the head and the body first so what you want to do is you just want to grab your yellow or grab your end of your yarn <laughs> i should say wherever my end is ah there we go okay so once you've got your end we are now going to make a magic ring so in order to do a magic ring we are going to take our yarn we're going to wrap it around our two fingers so we're going to take our yarn we're going to have our tail end over our fingers and we're going to take our working yarn we're going to wrap it around our two fingers once twice and then the third time we're going to cross over to form an x okay then you're going to turn your fingers over then you're going to insert your hook underneath those two front loops pick up the second loop then we're going to do a little chain one to secure this magic ring so you're just going to yarn over and pull that that yarn through that loop on your hook to do a chain one then you can take your magic ring off of your fingers and then you'll have your little magic ring okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to place six single crochets into the magic ring. So in order to do a single crochet, you're going to insert into the magic ring. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two again uh, to do your single crochet. Then again, you're going to insert. You're going to yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two again. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. OK, 
Yeah, so now we have our six single crochets. And a way to count our stitches. And a way to count our stitches is um, you'll be looking at those little V stitches over there. Those little V's. And those little V's are the tops of our stitches. So we can count. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six over there. Okay, so now that we have all of our six single crochets done, um, we can now close off this magic ring. So you're going to take your tail end, pull on your magic ring, and then you'll see that one loop being pulled in. Then you will take that one loop that is being pulled in and pull it down towards you. Then you'll see that other loop. You, then you'll see that other loop disappear. Now you're left with this really big loop. And now to get rid of this big loop, you're going to take your tail end and pull on your tail end. Okay. So now you'll have six single crochets into that magic ring. Okay. And moving on to the next round, we're going to do an increase into each stitch around. To do an increase, you're just going to find your first stitch and place two single crochets in there that is all an increase is is just two single crochets into the same stitch okay and then you can replace your stitch marker so you can get your stitch marker and insert your stitch marker into that first stitch that we made okay and then you'll go around each stitch placing two single crochets into each stitch around and your stitch count by the end of this round should have gone up from 6 to 12 by the end of this round. So again, you're placing an increase or two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay. See there? So there's two single crochets in one stitch to do an increase. Okay. So we are increasing by two. Yeah, so again, you should have two single crochets by the end. Sorry, you should have 12 single crochets by the end of this round, doing an increase into each stitch around. Okay, so after you finish round two, we are now ready to move on to round three. So we can remove our stitch marker. And then we can place one single crochet in the first stitch. Oopsie. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so you can put one single crochet in the first stitch and then put your stitch marker back. Yeah. Okay. And then into that next stitch. Okay. Yeah. So now into that next stitch, you're going to place two single crochets in there or an increase. Okay. Yeah. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do an increase. Okay, and again, you're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then an increase. One single crochet in the next stitch, and then an increase. And you will just repeat that all the way around, and your stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 18 by the end of the third round and you're just going to repeat that around placing one single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase one single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase okay. moving on to the next round so we're going to remove our stitch marker then we're going to place one single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so that's one. Replace your stitch marker. In the next stitch, another one. And then in the third stitch, we're going to do an increase. And again, we will repeat that around. Yeah, so we'll place one single crochet into the next two stitches, one and two, and then we'll do an increase into the third stitch. 
and you will just repeat that all the way around all the way around placing one single crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase and your stitch count should have gone up from 18 up to 24 by the end of this round Now I'm at the end of the fourth round, okay, and I'm just doing my last increase. And a great way to know if you've increased correctly is that all of your increases should line up. So if we can take a closer look here, you can see all of those increases lining up. Can you see there? It essentially forms like a little hexagon because there's six increases so we'll have six sides if that makes any sense so yeah you can see those increases there yeah and the number of stitches in between those increases increase by increase by one each round if that makes any sense okay so now after completing the fourth round we are now going to move on to the fifth round so again we're going to remove our stitch marker and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next three stitches so that's one replace your stitch marker one two and three and then we'll do an increase into that next stitch And then again, you're going to place one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase into that next stitch. Again, you're going to place one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase. And you will just repeat that all the way around, placing one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase and your stitch count should have gone up from 24 up to 30 by the end of this round. Yeah, again, one single crochet into the next three stitches and then an increase into that last stitch. And again, you can see how all of the increases are lining up. All of the increases are sitting directly on top of each other. And that is also a great way to know if you are on track, is that all of the increases line up. And also, if you start with one single crochet, you should end on an increase and vice versa. So if you start with an increase, you should end on one single crochet at the end, or a single crochet at the end. Okay, so moving on to the next few rounds, we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch around for the next six rounds. Okay, so for the next six, sorry, for the next five rounds, not six, for the next five rounds. Okay, so from round, um, so for round six to round ten, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around no increases and no decreases just one single crochet in each stitch around and your stitch count should remain the same as 30 single crochets okay so you'll have a total of five increase rounds of five sorry you'll have a total of five rounds with no increases or a total of 10 rounds by the time you are finished decreasing. 
So you'll have 10 rounds from the first round to the end. You'll, you should have a total of 10 rounds. Okay. So you can go off and you can continue placing one single crochet in each stitch around for the next five rounds. And then I'll come back and show you what to do from there. Okay. Okay. So now after you've completed placing one single crochet in each stitch around for the next five rounds or until you have a total of 10 rounds from the from the first round to the to the last round um we are now ready to move on to the next round so this is this is what it should be looking like now so if we count from the first round it should be one two three four five whoopsie one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten or six rounds from our last sorry five rounds from our last increase round so it's one two three four and five okay so moving on to the next round we are now going to do a decrease round so to do a decrease round you're going to remove your stitch marker and then you're going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches okay so that's one, two, and three. Now we are going to do a decrease. So now we're going to find the front loops of the next two stitches. Okay, so the front loop. So you have this little V. You have this like little V over here, you know, the top of the stitch. We are going to insert our hook. You're going to insert your hook from the front and push your hook to the middle of that that v stitch so you're just going to grab that front loop that looping nearest closest then the the loop closest or nearest to you okay so you're gonna go into the front loops of the next two stitches okay so you're going to do a decrease so you're going to find your first front loop of that next stitch like that then you're going to twist your hook down and grab the front loop of that next stitch then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops then you're going to yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet and that's what it should look like it kind of looks like um um like a single crochet stitches in like a chain stitch i don't know if you can see that there but it looks like a little chain stitch over there Okay, yeah. so again, you're going to place one single crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three, and then a decrease. So again, you're going to find the next two front loops. So chalk under the first front loop, twist your hook down, and then search hook into the next front loop. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through those two, and then yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet. Okay, again, one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then a decrease. So you're going to find the front loops of the next two stitches. So that's one, twist your hook down, two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through those two to finish off your single crochet. And again, one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three and then a decrease the next two stitches together okay and you will just repeat that all the way around and your stitch count should have gone down from 30 back down to 24 okay again find, finding those front loops of the next two stitches do your decrease and again same as before since we started with one increase, we will end, sorry, with one single crochet, we should end on a decrease. So again, you should have two stitches remaining. And then you'll decrease those last two stitches together like that. Okay, yeah, now it's taking its shape. <laughs> okay, so now we can insert um, the safety eyes. So I'm, I'm just going to push this tail end into the work it's starting to bug me if you want you can just cut that down but it's a little bit 
of stuffing there so <laughs> Okay, so you can grab your safety hours. You can grab your safety hours and your washers. And let me just turn on my hot glue gun. Okay, so my hot glue gun is on in the background there. So now I'm just going to grab my safety hours. And I like to um, put my safety hours in opposite to where the end of the round is, if that makes any sense. So where my tail end of my stitch marker is I'm just gonna um, flip the work to face me if that makes any sense and then we're gonna insert the safety hours between round five and round six with six stitches sorry with with ten stitches in between okay so we're gonna count between round five and six so that's one two three four five and six okay so in round five you can place okay round five one two three four five okay so you can just place your safety eye okay so you can just Place in your safety eye. Okay, and then you need to make sure that you have 10 stitches in between the two safety eyes. So if I just push my safety eye out a little bit, I can see um, this next stitch over here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so in this next over here oops this is always the tricky part is inserting the safety arm So there we go, I've now inserted the safety eyes, that's what it should be looking like now. Okay, so now we can put the washers on the back now. Okay. Now once they're in and you're happy with the way it looks, we can now um, we can now just put some glue on the end. Okay, so now we can just put some dab of glue on there now. So now once that is dried, okay, so now once we're finished putting in the safety arms, we can now continue um, 
to decrease so we can now moving on to the next um onto the next round we're going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches so that's one and then replace your stitch marker and then two and then again we're going to do a decrease so we're going to find those next two stitches and insert your hook underneath that front loop of the next stitch twist your hook down and insert your hook into the front loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two to finish off that single crochet and again you're going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches and then a decrease one single crochet into the next two stitches and then a decrease one single crochet in the next two and then a decrease and you'll just repeat that around and your stitch count should have gone down from 24 down to 18 by the end of this round And then we can place one single crochet and then a decrease all the way around. So that's one single crochet. Replace your stitch marker and then decrease into that next stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease. And again you'll just repeat that all the way around and your stitch count should have gone down from 18 down to 12 by the end of that round and then decrease the last two together okay and now it is time to stuff our head so we can pull up our loop there and then we can grab our pillow stuffing so you can grab your pillow stuffing and your blunt pair of scissors and then you can just start pushing in that stuffing Yeah, so that's what it should be looking like now. So we can continue crocheting the rest of the body now. Yeah. So now we are going to do. We are now going to do four rounds of no increases or decreases, just one single crochet in each stitch around. So from round 14 to round 17. It's just one single crochet in each stitch around with no increases or decreases and your stitch count should remain the same as 12 stitches okay so now after completing those four rounds of no single no increases or decreases just one single crochet in each stitch around this is what it should be looking like now so there's this little neck um, so now what we're going to do is we are now going to start working on the body so we're going to remove our stitch marker and then we're going to place one single crochet in the next stitch and then replace your stitch marker and then we'll do an increase into the next stitch so you're going to place two single crochets into that next stitch and again one single crochet into that next stitch and then an increase okay so now we're getting our stitch count back up from 12 up to 18 by the end of this round okay and then again by the end of that round our stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 18 
and then for the next round we're going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches so that's one two and then we'll do an increase into the next stitch again one single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase And you will just repeat this all the way around, placing one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then an increase. One single crochet into the next two stitches and an increase. And again, your stitch count should have gone up from um, 18 up to 24 by the end of this round okay so again just one single crochet in the next two and then an increase and again one single crochet in the next two and then an increase Okay, so that's what it should be looking like now. It should look a little bit funny. Okay. Okay, so now moving on to the next five rounds, we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch around with no increases and no decreases, just one single crochet into each stitch around for the next five rounds or until you have a total of 24 rounds from the head to the last round okay so you can go off and you can continue placing one single crochet in each stitch around for the next five rounds and then i'll come back and show you what to do from there so now i am back after completing five rounds with no increases or decreases just one single crochet in each stitch around and this is what it should be looking like now um, so now we're going to start closing up the body so now we're going to remove our stitch marker and then you're going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches so that's one oopsie so that's one two and then a decrease and then you'll just repeat that around, placing one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then a decrease. And then one single crochet into the next two stitches and a decrease. And your stitch count should have gone down from 24 back down to 18 by the end of this round. And again, just going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches and then a decrease. And then one single crochet into the next two stitches and then a decrease. One single crochet in the next two stitches and then a decrease. Yeah. So now it's starting to take shape now that's what it looks like and again we're going to do another decrease round so we're going to remove our stitch marker then you're going to find your first stitch and do your one single crochet in there and then we'll do a decrease over the next two stitches oopsie over the next two stitches and then again place one single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease and then you will just repeat this around but and you'll just repeat that all the way around and then your stitch count should have gone down from from 18 down to 12 by the end of this round and now we can stuff again so we can um, pull up our yarn 
and then we can stuff. So we can grab some of our stuffing and stuff this. Okay, you want to make sure you get all the way down into that neck of the giraffe. Make sure you stuff nice and firm around that neck where the neck and the head join together. You want to make sure that it's thoroughly stuffed there. to grab some more stuffing okay so got some more stuffing here so now again i'm just gonna stuff Okay, so again I like to just squish the head and the body down like this. Okay. Okay, so that's where you should be looking like now after he's been stuffed. So now what we're going to do is we are now going to finish off this head or the head and the body. So we are now going to do our last decrease round. So now we are going to decrease each stitch. Um, okay, so now we're going to decrease around. So you're going to go into your first two stitches and do your decrease. Insert your stitch marker. And decrease each stitch around for the last round. And we are now going to close up this. Um, we're going to now close up the body. Okay, so now we're going to close up the body just decreasing all the way around and your stitch count should have gone down from 12 all the way down to 6. Okay, this last round is normally very tricky. Okay. So now I'm finished with that round. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And then you just want to make sure that you're happy with this before you close this up. So, yeah, if you want to do any last minute stuffing, now would be the time. And then you can just grab your scissors, leave a little bit of a tail, and just snip your yarn. And then pull up and out. Then you can grab your tapestry needle. needle. And now we're going to sew this hole closed. So now we are essentially going to do like a really big decrease. So you're going to go into that next stitch and you're going to pick up that front loop of that next stitch and pull through. Again, you're going to find the front loop of that next stitch and pull through. And you will repeat that around. Find the front loop of the next stitch, front loop of the next stitch. And we are essentially going to do like a really big decrease now, if that makes any sense. Okay. And then once we are finished with that, we can pull the hole closed. So you can pull the hole closed and then you can sew down into the center. 
and then come out somewhere on the body and pull that nice and tight so that um pull it nice and tight so that um it goes flat on the bottom so pull that nice and tight make sure it's nice and flat and then you just want to insert your needle into the same stitch you came out of and out somewhere else and you just want to repeat that a few times so insert your needle into the same stitch you came out of and out somewhere else Yeah, and you just repeat that a few times. You can even go into the head. This is just to weave in your tail end to make sure it doesn't come undone. Yeah. And then once you're happy with that, you can now trim off your tail end and grab your scissors and snip that close to the work okay so again you can just like squish the body down um just to make sure it like looks good okay so now that's the body done and now we can move on to the legs so you can put your body aside and you can grab your camel brown which is this color here so you can grab your camel brown and we are now going to um, do six single crochets in the magic ring so again to do your magic ring you're going to lay your yarn over your two fingers and um, wrap the yarn around your fingers once twice and then the third time you're going to cross over to form an x then you're going to insert under the first two loops, pick up that second loop, and then you're going to do a chain one to secure. So you're going to yarn over and pull through that chain one to secure. Then take your magic ring off of your fingers. Okay, and now we are going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three. Five and six. Okay, and then again you can close up your magic ring. So pull on your tail end and then see what loop gets pulled in. Then you're going to take that loop that got pulled in and pull it down towards you to close up this other um, this other loop here. And then pull on this tail end to get rid of that other loop. Yeah. And then find your first stitch. Find your first stitch and do um, and then we're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around or an increase into each stitch around for the next um, for the next round. Okay. So now we're going to do an increase. And then put your stitch marker into that first stitch and then you're going to increase into each stitch around okay so like how we did when we first started the head so we we have six we had six single crochets when we first started and now we are going to do an increase into each stitch around so by the end of the second round you should have 12 stitches by the end of this round Okay, so now moving on to the next round, you should have 12 single crochets by the end of this round. And now we are going to do one single crochet into the back loops only in each stitch around. Okay, so you're going to find your back loop. So the back loop, so like how we've mentioned before, so you have 
um, you have your V and then the loop closest to you is your front loop and then the loop furthest away from you is the back loop so in order to work in the back loop you're going to push your needle in between that V and out the back end in order to work um, the back into the back loops okay so again you are going to work into the back loop so you're going to find your next stitch search hook into the center of that V into the center of that V and out the back end and then do your single crochet as normal okay so you can replace your stitch marker and you can repeat that all the way around placing one single crochet into the back loops only of each stitch around no increases and no decreases um, it should all remain the same as one single crochet in each stitch around okay so remember working to the back loops you're gonna push you're going to push your and um, you're going to push your hook down into the center of that V and out the back end. Okay, so you can just repeat that all the way around and your stitch count should remain the same as 12 stitches. Okay, so now this is what it should be looking like now. You should be able to like kind of like sit up like that if that makes any sense. Yeah. so now we're going to end off brown and join yellow okay so now we're going to find our next stitch and we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch so you're going to insert yarn over pull through and then pull that loop through that loop there okay so let me show that to you again so you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch then you're going to yarn over pull through then pull that first loop through that second loop on your hook to do a slip stitch okay and then you can end off so you can pull so you can just snip your yarn pull up and out and then get your yellow yarn again so you get your yellow and then just lay your your yellow yarn over your hook then you're just going to yarn over pull through do a little chain one to secure okay and then you are going to place and then for the next two rounds you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds yeah so again no increases and no decreases just one single crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds yeah and then when you get back round to the beginning um, you just want to make sure you count your stitches and that last stitch it may look like a single uh, single crochet stitch but again you just want to count your stitches and make sure you have 12 so one two three four five six okay let me count it like this <laughs> okay let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so i do have 12 stitches so I'm just going to insert my hook into that very next stitch and do my single crochet. Okay, and then insert my stitch marker. And then again, you are just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around, back to the beginning. Okay, and then after doing one single crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds, we are now going to decrease. So we are going to remove our stitch marker and then we're going to decrease um, around so our stitch count should have gone down from 12 down to 6 by the end of this round okay so again you're just going to decrease around okay and again you should have six single crochets by the end of this round okay and then you can snip off your yarn so you can end off, so if you want, you can slip stitch to the next stitch. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, then pull that first loop through that second loop. And then you can end off, so you can 
cut a bit of a tail because we'll be sewing um we'll be sewing our legs on so leave a bit of a tail and then pull up and out okay and then what i like to do is um we need to just stuff the leg so i like to just take my tail ends and also just push them in here And then you just want to grab a little bit more stuffing and again just stuff the leg. Okay, so that's what the little leg should look like. So if we had to get a little giraffe, the little leggy should go on like that. Okay, so you need to go off and make another leg exactly like this so you can rewind and you can watch um, the steps from round one uh, to round six and then I'll come back and show you how to do the arms okay okay so now I've come back and I've finished crocheting the arms this is what they look like so now we can put those aside and we can now work on our on our arms so again you'd want to take your camel brown yarn okay so you'd want to take your camel brown and we're going to place six single crochets into the magic ring again so you can just make your magic ring and then you can just place six single crochets into that magic ring Now after you've made your magic ring, you can just close up your magic ring like we normally would. Okay. And then moving on to the next round, we're going to place one single crochet into that first stitch. So find your first stitch and place one single crochet in there. Okay, then get your stitch marker and insert your stitch marker and then we are going to do an increase into the next stitch okay and that's the repeat pattern for round two is we're going to place one single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase and by the end of this round we should have nine single crochets okay so now after completing round two we are now going to place one single crochet in each stitch around but in the back loops only so like like what we did with the with the with the legs we're going to do that with the arms so you're going to find that back loop and you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around in the back loops only okay again and in, into the back loops only so insert your hook into those back loops and just do one single crochet into each stitch around and your stitch count should remain the same as non-single crochets yeah so now that's what it should be looking like now after doing one single crochet in each stitch around now we're going to end off brown so we're going to slip stitch to that first stitch so you are going to insert into that first stitch you're going to yarn over pull through then pull that first loop through that second loop to do a slip stitch okay and then again you are going to end off so snip your, your brown yarn pull up and out and then join your yellow so insert your hook into the same stitch and join yellow and then we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around um, for just this one round okay so one single crochet into each stitch around for just one round and your stitch count should remain the same as non single crochets so now after completing the nine stitches this is what it should look like now ok 
yeah and then you just want to find um your first stitch and you just want to place one single crochet into that first stitch oopsie okay, let me do my last single crochet again <laughs> Okay, then you want to find your first single crochet and do one single crochet into there and then insert your stitch marker back and then you're going to decrease the next two stitches together you're going to do a decrease and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease and your stitch count should have gone back down from 9 down to 6 by the end of this round. So that's what our little arm should look like now so now we can end off so you can slip stitch to the next stitch so insert your hook yarn over pull through pull that first loop through that second loop leave a bit of a tail for sewing pull up and out and then again you just want to stuff those tail ends whoopsie uh, you just want to stuff those tail ends into into the leg sorry into the arm okay and then you can grab a little bit of stuffing and again just stuff the arm Yeah, so now after stuffing, that is what the arm should look like. So now if we put our arm there, and then if we had to grab one of our leggies. Okay, so that's the arm, and that's the legs. Yeah, so that's what it should look like. Okay, so you can go off and you can make another arm exactly like this, and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, how to make the like little like horns i don't know what you'd call them um <clears throat> but like the little like horn horns and um yeah so you can go off and do the other arm and then i'll show you what to do for the horns okay so now i am back and i've completed the arms and now we are ready to do the horns so again you'd want to grab your brown yarn and you'd want to make your magic ring And you'd want to do six single crochets into that magic ring. Okay, and then just close up your magic ring as you normally would. And then for round two, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, so just one single crochet in each stitch around, no increases and no decreases. So you'll have a total of just six single crochets by the end of round two. Yeah. and then you can end off brown and join yellow okay so snip off your brown you can pull up and out and then join your yellow so you just want to join your yellow chain one to secure and then again just place one single crochet in each stitch around and you should still have a total of six stitches and 
from round three to round six you're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around so for the next four rounds you're just going to place um, one single crochet in each stitch around So again, find your first stitch and do one single crochet in there and then insert your stitch marker back in and continue placing one single crochet in each stitch around until you have a total of four rounds in yellow. Okay. Okay. So now once you have completed the four rounds in yellow, you can now end off so you can just slip stitch to the next stitch. So find your next stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook. Pull the first loop through that second loop. And then again, you just want to leave a little bit of a tail for sewing and pull up and out. And then you can just take your tail ends and stuff them into the horn. there's our little horn um, so yeah you can go off and make your second one there's no need to stuff the horn some more with pillow stuffing um, you're just gonna stuff it with your tail ends and um, yeah so you can go off and make another horn exactly like this and then I'll come back and show you what to do for the ears okay so now I've completed um, both horns now and now it's time to do the ears so you can put the horns one side and you can grab your yellow and we are now going to make um we're now going to make the, the ears so now we are going to make a slip knot so now slip knot is just a tight magic ring basically so in order to do that you're just going to take your tail end and wrap it around your two fingers once and then the second time you're going to cross over to form an x then you're going to insert your hook underneath that first loop, pick up the second loop and take, take your slip knot off of your fingers and then pull on your tail end and working yarn and pull that tight. Okay, so that's what our slip knot should be looking like now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain 8. So to chain you're going to yarn over and pull that first loop through that second loop to do a chain. So that's 1, yarn over, pull through, 2, yarn over pull through three four five six seven and eight okay so that's what it should be looking like okay and then from here we are now going to turn our chains over to reveal the back bumps and then you're going to slip stitch into the second chain from hook. So to slip stitch, you're just going to find that back bump. You're going to yarn over, pull through that chain and through that loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, then you're going to do one single crochet in the next chain. So you're going to find that back bump there and then you're going to do one single crochet. And then you're going to do one half double crochet. So to do one half double crochet, you're going to yarn over insert into the next back bump so there into that next back bump you're going to insert underneath there then you're going to yarn over pull through and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops on your hook to do a half double crochet and then you're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch so you're going to yarn over again go into that next back bump yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on the hook then you're going to yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two to do your double crochet and then you're going to do one half double crochet again so a half double crochet is yarn over insert into the next stitch into the next back bump and you're going to yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on the hook then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet and then And then you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch so you're going to find that next chain you're going to yarn over pull through 
you'll never pull through two to do um to do your single crochet and then you're going to do two slip stitches into that last uh that last chain so you're going to slip stitch so you're going to find that last chain you're going to yarn over pull through and then pull that first loop through your second loop and again you're going to do that again so go into that same chain you're going to yarn over pull through pull that first loop through that second loop and then working on the opposite side of the chains repeat so you're going to place one single crochet into the next stitch so you're going to work on the opposite side of the chains that's why we worked into those back bumps so we can reveal um, those top the the bottom of the chains there so we did one single crochet into the next stitch then you're going to do one half double crochet so you're going to yarn over and so into the next stitch yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through all three of those loops and then you're going to do a double crochet so you're going to yarn over so chalk into the next stitch yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through the first two then yarn over pull through the second two and then again you're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch so yarn over so into the next stitch yarn over pull through then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet and then and then you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch and then you are going to do another slip stitch into that last stitch over there yeah so that is what the ear should be looking like yeah and then you're going to end off you're going to grab your scissors again leave a bit of a tail and you're going to yarn over and pull pull through okay and if you worked over your tail end you can just snip that right off okay and then you can go off and you can repeat those steps to make the second ear and then i'll come back and show you what to do from there okay so now after completing your two ears it's now time to do the tail so we can put those aside and again you can grab your banana yellow and um this is very very easy so we're gonna we're gonna do a slip knot but we're gonna leave quite a bit of a long tail at the end to sew on our tail onto the giraffe okay so leaving quite a long tail end you're gonna make your slip knot so wrap your yarn around your two fingers <clears throat> once and then the second time cross over and then insert your underneath the first loop pick up the second loop take your, uh, your slip knot off your fingers and pull that tight and then we're going to chain five so you're going to chain five so one two three four and five and then snip the tail end short uh, like about two centimeters away from the chains like about there and then you're going to chain five and pull through okay so we chain five then we're going to pull our hook through and then you're going to pull that tart like that okay and then snip the tail end shorter about to like about like maybe two centimeters and then just fray out the edge like that or you can um take a brush and brush the tail end yeah like that and snip it even a little bit shorter if you wanted to like that okay so now that is the tail done yeah as easy as that okay now we have one more component to do which is the snout so we can grab our beige yarn um so you can grab our beige yarn and then what we are going to do is we are now going to make the snout so you're going to make your magic ring okay so make your magic ring chain one to secure and then you're going to do six single crochets in there okay one one two three four five six yeah okay then close up your magic ring And then from there we're going to do an increase into each stitch around. Okay, 
cap and then replace your stitch marker okay, and again place two single crochets into each stitch around and your stitch count should have gone up from six up to 12 by the end of this round okay so once you're finished with that you can remove your stitch marker and then for the next three rounds so from round three to round five we are just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around um, no increases and no decreases so your stitch count should remain the same as um as 12 stitches okay so you'll just place one single crochet in each stitch around for the next three rounds and then i'll come back and show you what to do from there okay so now i am back and i have finished the snout so what we're going to do is we're going to end off so we can find our next stitch and slip stitch and then you can grab your scissors and again <clears throat> leaving quite a bit of a tail just snip your yarn and then yarn over and pull up and out and then there we go there's our little snout it's a bit small but we will stuff them okay and then those are all of our components done so we can start now sewing um we can now start sewing everything together okay so these are my little arms here are the little leggies there's the little legs and then here are the two horns there's the two horns And then here's the ears. One, two ears, and then the tail. And then of course the snout. Okay, so now we can start sewing everything together. So now I'm just gonna put these aside again. So I'm just gonna grab my two legs. And then you'd wanna get your darning needle again and um, you just want to thread up your darning needle okay so you just want to thread up your darning needle and then you just want to go into the same stitch that you slip stitched into on the leg like that okay so now this is the leg so now i like to sew it on kind of like in line with the eyes this can be a little bit tricky so if it makes your life a little bit easier you can um you can pin down uh, the components um to make it a bit easier okay so i've just sewn into the body and now i'm just going to sew back up into the leg going in through one stitch and out the other stitch and again sew back down into the body and then sew back up into the leg going in one stitch and out the other so into the body going into one stitch and out the other again insert your needle into the one one stitch out the other like that and then um you just want to keep repeating this until the leg is sewn on okay and what i like to do is i like to just um, come and just duck tuck this leg down so I like to just sew down into there and then sew down into the body again just pull it a little bit tight okay there we go there's the one leg and then we can just weave in our tail in so insert your needle through the same stitch you came out of and out somewhere else and then insert your needle through the same stitch you came out of and out somewhere else and you'll just repeat this a few times till you're happy with it and then just grab your scissors and snip off your yarn And then you can grab your other leg so you can grab your other leg 
and then you just want to do the same so find your your first stitch and weave your tail end through there and then again you just want to sew on your leg kind of like in line with the eyes like about here and then you just want to repeat that going in and out of the leg and then back onto the body And then you just want to make sure that like, um, what's the word, um, you just want to make sure that you tack the legs so that they do not um, move so much, if that makes any sense, so that they're quite fixed. Okay, so I'm just going to tack the back of the leg. And then once you're happy, you can just weave in your tail end. And then once you're happy, you can just end off. Okay. And now that's what you should be looking like with his little leggies on. Okay. And then you can just grab his arms. And then we can start sewing his arms on in the same manner. Okay, so now I'm going to sew the arms just kind of just below the neck. Now this is where it becomes a little bit tricky now. Yeah, so again, I'm just going to tack the back of this arm so that it does not, um, so that it is not so loose and wobbly like it is now. Um, so I'm just going to tack it down a bit. And then once you're happy, again, you can just weave in your tail end like we have been doing. Okay. And then you can weave in, um, not weave in, sorry, you could sew in, sew on your other arm. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew on this arm like how I have done before. So I'm going to try and like line up where I previously sewed the other arm to or which round I sewed the arm to. Okay, so now this is where it becomes like a little bit tricky. To sew, to sew these parts on now because now we're having so many little components added onto the body now so it's making it a little bit uh, so it's making it a little bit tricky to sew everything on here now So 
Um, and I'm just going to tack this down. So now once you're happy with the way he looks, we can now weave in our tail end. Okay, so once you're happy, you can snip off your tail end. Okay, and now we can sew on the horns and the ears. Okay, so I'm going to sew the horns on first. Okay. So now we're going to sew the horns on slightly like behind the head and just like kind of like next to um kind of like next to the um like a few rows below like about there and then we can just sew on the horn Okay, just going in and out of the, the ear and the body, or the head I should say now. So now I'm just going to go back and tack this um, in place again. Okay. I think I'm actually going to tack the horn kind of like forward like that, if that makes any sense. And then once you're happy, you can just weave in your tail end like you have done before. And then repeat the same for the other side or for the other horn. I should have actually used bigger safety hours. I was actually going to um, use bigger safety hours, but then it looked like they were too big. <laughs> so I went for a size smaller and I should have just listened to my gut instinct. Um, but anyway, it's just one of those things. Um, so yeah, the ones that I'm currently using right now are 10 millimeter safety eyes. Um, so yeah, I would recommend using, um, 12 millimeter safety eyes instead. Okay, so again, just sew the horn into place. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like now, which is you're starting to take shape. But yeah, I really think that his eyes should have been a bit bigger, maybe one one stitch in from either side, but maybe having the bigger eyes it would look much better. Yeah, this pattern needs to be adjusted because um, the first two that I made, I'm not sure what I did, but when writing up the pattern, um, I clearly made some mistakes. Um, so yeah, the, the legs don't look, um, the legs don't look like the legs that I 
made for my first or my second draft that I did as an order. I'm not sure why. I think I may have been in a rush when I made the pattern. And um, yeah, so the legs and the arms look a little bit different. I'm not sure why. Um, I'll try to figure it out throughout this video um, to see like what um, what went wrong. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find um, I couldn't find anything. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so that's what the ears look like now. So now it's just time. So not the ears, the horns, and it's now time to sew on the ears. So you just want to thread up your darning needle okay and then again just sew down into that slip stitch and then we are now going to put the ear kind of like one like two rows below this next one okay and then sew into the the ear like that and then we're going to sew down into the head again oh. okay and then i just want to tuck the back of the ear so that it stands up straight so i'm going to come out maybe like one like one stitch away from the ear and then just go under some stitches here making sure not to go through the front of the ear and then go down into the head again So now I'm just going to sew back down, um, so now I'm just going to tack the, the ear down again. Um, sorry, I just want to snip off my tail end here. So I'm just going to go up like a few stitches like that and then just tack this down. Okay, and I think I'm just going to come here to the front here and just tack this down from the front as well this is a little bit fiddly so I'm just going to try and make this ear as um, as straight as possible okay there we go I think that's fine and then again I'm just going to weave in my tail end even though there's not much left of it now but anyway okay and then snip off my yarn okay and then you just repeat that for the other ear So again, I'm just going to sew down, like maybe here. Okay, so I'm just going to sew down to the ear again. Okay, and then I'm just going to come up and tuck the ear again from this side. Going up into that next stitch there. There we go. And then tucking that down into the head. Okay, and then I'm 
just going to tuck the other side down. Okay, so there we go. He's looking a little bit like a giraffe now. Again, the, the eyes should have been bigger. But anywho. Yeah, so again, I'm just going to weave in my tail end like how I have been. Yeah, and then once you're happy, um, we can... Okay. Sorry about that, so my phone cut out for a minute there. Okay, so now I'm finished sewing on the ears, and this is what it should be looking like now. So now um, we can sew on our tail. Okay, so I've got my tail here now, and then you just want to thread up your darning needle. And then you would just want to... Um, so on the tail, um, like a few rows above, so maybe like about here, so you just want to sew on the tail about here, about three or four rows from the bottom, okay, and then you just want to sew into that chain. Okay, so you just want to sew down into that chain and then sew down into one row below yeah. like that okay I'm just gonna sew back this side And then I'm just going to yeah, I'm just gonna sew back like one row below to where I sewed into and then I'm just gonna sew down again into to that stitch like that. Okay, that's the tail done and then just weave in your tail in like you normally would okay and then once you're happy with the way he looks you can snip off your tail end so you can snip off your tail end okay and then we can just sew on the snout and then embroider the spots onto the back okay so now i'm just gonna um get my snout and and draw and okay i'm just gonna sew through the stitch like i normally have been and then i'm just gonna kind of squeeze down the snout into the center in between those the eyes and then again i'm just going to start sewing this sewing this to the face to the head Again, going in and out of um, the stitch on the head and then onto the snout. Okay, so again, you just want to keep sewing down into the, the snout and then into the head okay, just tucking this down you want to make sure that the snout is still like centered um, to the face or to the head okay, and you just want to keep on sewing 
Yeah. And then before you finish um, sewing this whole thing closed, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of stuffing. You're going to take a little bit of stuffing and your scissors and you're just going to push some of that stuffing into the snout. Just a little bit. Not too much, but <laughs> enough. And then you can finish um, sewing this closed. Or sewing this to the face. Yeah. And then you just want to hard in your tail end like we have been, or sew in your tail end like we have been. So now once you're happy with that, um, the last thing that we need to do is just um, embroider white around the eyes and, um, <clears throat> and sew in the brown spots at the back. Yeah, so to sew on um, the brown spots, what you want to do is you want to grab... Um, You'd want to grab some of your brown camel or your camel brown yarn. You just want to leave quite a bit of yarn on there. And then snip quite a length of yarn. And then you're just going to thread up your darning needle. Okay. And then I'm just going to insert my needle through the front and then come out kind of like in the back somewhere so now I'm just going to embroider so I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail end like that and then I'm just going to embroider so I'm going to skip a few stitches over like three stitches over and then just insert my needle where my thread's coming out of the side like that and then you just want to do that a few times so insert where um, where the other side of the stitch is and then through and then insert and then come out where the other side of the thread is and you just want to keep repeating this a few times until we have like a nice little spot going on here yeah like that and then we are going to move over so we can maybe come up here we can maybe come up here and then we can maybe sew down again so maybe come down like about here and just sew over the same place a few times like what we have been doing like that and then again just sew down into the body and then come out like maybe like over here this is like all like very random um okay and then again you're just gonna want to like sew a few stitches so I think I'm actually going to come out the next stitch over okay and then I'm just going to sew up kind of like diagonally like one row one row sorry one row one stitch across and like three rows up two rows up and then I'm just going to sew this Yeah, so I'm just going to sew this a few times again. Yeah, 
like that. And again, I'm going to sew down and then maybe come up just to the left or to the right of the tail. And then just sew, um, sew up. So two rows up and one row, one stitch across. And then again, just, just sew a stitch a couple times over and over. Okay, and then again, insert your needle and then come out like maybe on the side here, just below this one here, maybe just next to the tail like that. Yep, and then I'm just going to go over a few stitches and then just tuck or just sew a few stitches like this. Okay, and then once you're happy, you can again just weave in your tail end. And there we, there we go, we have some some spots on the back isn't it just gorgeous okay so now i'm just gonna weave in my tail end like i normally have been okay so now i am finished um crocheting the actual giraffe and we are finished sewing in my tail ends after sewing on the the brown spots at the back um so now the only thing left to do now is uh we're just going to take our white um you don't need a lot of this uh just have some scrap white left over so i'm just maybe going to cut this in half because you really do not need a lot of thread or of yarn so i'm just going to snip this in half okay and again you just want to thread up your darning needle okay and then again i like to just insert my needle from the back of the head Okay, now I'm going to come out just below the eye. Okay, so just below the eye, leaving a bit of a tail. And then I'm going to sew down just above the eye. Okay, and then you want to make sure that the thread goes just next to the eye like that okay and then again i'm going to do it for this side so i'm going to insert my needle with the same stitch i came out of and then come out just underneath that eye and just kind of like in the center of that eye if that makes any sense then again go to the top of the eye and then insert your needle just at the top of the eye Yeah, and then come out somewhere else. Okay, and again, you want to make sure that the thread falls um, to the right side of the eye. Like that. There we go. Okay, it really looks better and nice and cuter, doesn't it? But yeah, the eyes should have been so much bigger. Well, not so much bigger, but <laughs> they should have been the big set of ours. But anyway, so now I'm just going to weave in my tail end like how I have been. Okay, and then once you're happy, you can just take your sn your scissors and snip off, um, snip off that yarn. Okay, and there we go. There is our little giraffe done. Isn't it just cute? So yeah, the eyes definitely should have been bigger and should have moved over one stitch. Um, but yeah, he's still cute, I think, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I definitely need to adjust the pattern and make the arms and the legs exactly how I did the first and second one. Um, or the first and second giraffe that I did as an order 
um, because yeah, that those two came out like it really looked like a giraffe, like with the legs and the arms and everything, it looked like a proper giraffe. Um, but yeah, with these legs, it's the with these legs and arms, it doesn't quite look like one in my opinion. Um, so yeah, but now the the only thing left to do now is just add our keychain to get our jump ring and our keychain. Then we can grab our jump ring and our jewelry pliers and then you just want to um, insert the jump ring into the middle and come out somewhere else well not somewhere else <laughs> and then come out um, on the opposite side of the, the of round one if that makes sense there and then just insert your keychain on and then take your jewelry pliers and just pinch um, and then just pinch the jewelry, the just pinch the jump ring closed. And of course, this is going to give me problems. <laughs> there we go, finally. Yeah, so there we go. There is our little giraffe uh, keychain done and completed. I really hope you enjoyed um, watching and learning how to crochet this cute little giraffe keychain. I will do another tutorial um, sometime in the future of um, of the like better version of the giraffe. Um, I mean, maybe to you this does look like a cute little giraffe, but the legs don't really have the shape that I wanted to. I'm not sure what I did, but um, but yeah, the the first two giraffes that I made as an order, these legs looked like proper legs. I'll even insert a picture here of um of what that giraffe looked like, and you can see what I mean with the legs. And yeah, definitely the safety eyes needs to be one size bigger and uh, one stitch over on either side. So instead of having ten stitches in between, um. In between the safety hours it should have been eight stitches um but yeah so i really hope that you enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little giraffe keychain and um yeah i hope you guys love it <laughs> it's so cute isn't it okay guys that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little giraffe keychain i really really hope that you enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little keychain um, I think he just turned out super adorable. So yeah, I really think he came out super, super cute and adorable. Um, so yeah, I really do think I should have used um, a bigger eyes, one size bigger. So at least 12 millimeter safety eyes and move the eyes a little bit further in. Two more, two, one stitch on the other side in. So a total of eight stitches in between the two safety eyes instead of 10. Um, but yeah, uh, there will be another tutorial. Um, <clears throat> there will be another tutorial that I'll do for this giraffe keychain. Um, because, uh, yeah, I'm not quite happy with the way that he looks. Um, the first two giraffes that I did as an order, like I mentioned in the video, um, which was about last year sometime, um, I was writing the pattern as I go, and I think I rushed it, and um, or I was like crocheting ahead um what would you call it i was crocheting too far ahead instead of doing round by round and writing the pattern if it makes any sense so i was crocheting ahead and then looking back at the work that i've done and trying to like remember what i did so yeah there were some places throughout the pattern that i actually had to pause and double check the pattern um and like what i've written to make sure it like all made sense and that it was right um, but yeah, I would like to redo the tutorial for the giraffe, um, because, well, a little bit later down the line, because, um, because the legs don't quite look like a giraffe, it just looks like fat, chubby legs <laughs> and arms, to be honest with you, but the way that I did the arms in the first, in the, in the first two giraffes that I did, they looked like proper legs of a giraffe. <laughs> Um, well, they look like proper legs, I should say, not just like flat blobs. 
I'm not making any sense. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what I did um, for the first one. I did write majority of the pattern down, but there were like one or two, um, one or two rows that like um, I didn't write down or something like that. Or yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Um, so yeah, I will do uh, um, another tutorial in the future with the um, with the corrections to the draft um but yeah i really really hope that you guys enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little giraffe keychain isn't it just super super cute um honestly like look at that um he was just so adorable guys don't you think don't you think it would look much more cuter if he had bigger eyes but anyway that is it guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and we're almost at 2000 subscribers guys we are literally almost at 2,000 subs. So, like, what are you doing? There's, like, a lot of you guys who watch my videos who aren't subscribed. So, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? Just click that subscribe button. You wouldn't want to miss a thing. There's so many more tutorials that I have coming out that are a lot more exciting, fun, interesting, and also a lot more challenging, if I can put it that way. <clears throat> so, if you would like... If you are up for a challenge and if you'd like keychains, if keychains is what you enjoy making, um, then stick around for future tutorials because I have a lot planned for this YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. It really does help out my channel. And um, yeah. By the way guys, I have started a fashion channel now because some of you may know I am a fashion design student and I'm in my second year. So yeah, I have created a YouTube channel um, for my fashion related um, stuff. So I'll be doing some, um, not quite tutorials yet, but I'll be doing some informative videos on patterns, dots and things like that and um scenes and all of that so yeah i'd be happy to teach you guys um so yeah i haven't posted any videos yet but i will be soon i will be soon in the next one or two days i will be doing um i'll be putting up a new video there or a video or a short other one um so yeah i am i'm planning on doing a one video a week and one short a week but i'll see how that goes um so yeah please subscribe to my other channel if you love fashion or if you love sewing um so yeah that's also something that i'm going to branch out into soon um <clears throat> so yeah that is it for today's tutorial again please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and check out our um and follow us on our socials instagram tiktok and facebook and um and also instagram threads <laughs> um so yeah that is it for today's tutorial thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting bye guys